morning, DoorDash. Oh my god. Too early for this shit. My alarm ain't working. Come on. Anyway, good morning, y'all. I got some shit to say. My shit to say got some shit to say. Let me set this up first. Wish your dash is a good morning. Some crazy shit happened yesterday. If it's true, what went down yesterday? What I'm about to tell you. Well, I'm not going to tell you. You know what? Let me think about this right. Let me think about this the right way. I'm not going to make a blog because I've been getting a lot of viewers because it's mixed with the music shit and the door that shit. But this channel right here, I've been doing for the door that shit. So it's, I got a lot of viewers now. A lot of, a lot of door dash people. Remember, don't warm your car. It fucks up your car. Um, I got a lot of viewers. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to... um. Damn, Papi, you look crazy. I gotta talk to my boy. I gotta talk to my boy at DoorDash. And then I try to make a blog about it this tomorrow. Josh from DoorDash, if you see this video. I smoke weed. I, 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 I never deny it. I don't, I'm not ashamed. I smoke marijuana, and I don't smoke bullshit. So I smoke good shit. The fucking gate is open. Let me show you what happened first. No, I, I go back and forth. Yesterday, yeah, the gate is open. You can just walk right out. I didn't have to put my car or nothing. Yesterday, they stole a, they stole a van from this parking lot, and they drove around with the van to each floor. Got a motorcycle, put the motorcycle inside the van, and walked, drove right out with the shit. Told the nigga that they don't have their car. That the car that you need to get out, to get out the building, to get out the parking lot, the building. He just drove right out. I was like, oh shit, that's crazy. Daring ass motherfucking thieves, bro. But they took the chrome riff. I took the chrome rim off my uh, Tahoe, so I don't know. If that would have been the subject of them stealing. I would have I would have been ham. I would have killed them niggas. Anyway. Josh and DoorDash, if you're seeing this, man, I smoke weed, man. And what happened yesterday happened. Yeah, I just forgot, and I was going to call you. I ain't stick nothing up it. But I got approached yesterday, and a couple of dashes got approached yesterday by some some, some representatives for some law firm and shit. That they, they planned a lawsuit against DoorDash, and they're naming people and this and that. And I was like, yo, I don't want to do that shit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying, if it's true, that's fucked up, and, and if it's true, I doubt it's true, man, I just think it's allegations or whatever, I doubt it's true, but if it's true, they deserve everything they're about to get, and that's a fucking criminal, what the guy said is criminal, and it's, it's, uh, what do you call that when you, uh, what the fuck did that man say, it doesn't matter, yo, that was just, them niggas was saying, Every pickup you went to yesterday. I don't know if y'all saw them. I ain't get to call Ooze and nobody I know. Danny. I ain't get to call nobody I really know and fuck with. But, um, them niggas was in every, every, I have three deliveries yesterday. Them niggas was in every delivery I went, at, I was at. And then one of my deliveries, one of my drop-offs was in Italy, Italy, Italy. And it wasn't, I didn't have a pickup or drop-off there, but. I, I was driving, driving by there. When I drove by there, I saw two of them niggas because they had the same outfits, uh, type of suits and the book bag and all that stuff. And they, and there was two of them in front of Italy. So you go in there. I didn't have. I don't really wear my door that shit. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when I first started, I'm a vet. I mean, I have it in the car. I always, always one day if y'all, if y'all don't wear your door that shit because you just want to wear your regular clothes. Cause we only do catering three or four deliveries, bro. Let's be honest, you're not doing it all day. So, you know, if you wanna wear your door that shit and have your door that shit all day. But remember, I do postmates too, so I can't walk up to a postmate. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not it's not it's not right. 
They have a post me a pickle with a throw that shirt on. I can't, you know. It's unethical. But anyway, I didn't have my throw that shit on yesterday. Like I never do. But if somebody like one of the stores be like, oh you have to oh yeah, I got in a car and I go put it on right quick. That happened. That happened. The 85, let me tell you what happens. 85 broad LPO, them niggas, they they, yeah, they on that bullshit with this with the and was in Dean DeLuca, you couldn't wear shorts. We did it in full, fam. They only they see us for four seconds, bro. So whatever. Anyway, that keep skipping. So they was out there representing. I didn't have my shit on, like I said. So I went to um 85 Broad. You know, I went into I went into LPO, and the guy was like, "Yo," I said, "Yo," you know, they usually bring it out to you. I said, Yo, I'm right there in the corner. And I got the mini fan in the corner. Whatever. So the LPO guy, he's like, "All right, cool. Gonna send somebody out." So I waited. When I waited, you know, they waited to post you. When the guy with the cart came out, and I picked up the, opened up my truck and pulled out my DoorDash bag, I guess the dude saw the DoorDash bag. He was like, yo, let me holler at you right quick. And I was like, what? What's up? He was like, yo, we representing some little shit. I got the card. Oh, man, I'm driving back. He said, my wallet, and I'm going in my wallet. Uh, he gave me this card. Oh, we represent some law firm. We sold DoorDash for, for, for a lot of money because. Some manager, some manager, okay, this is what that story he was giving me. He said managers, but I don't believe none of this shit, bro. I'm a conspiracy theory nigga. And I don't think, to do that, to do, but I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna say what they doing, what they said, because if it's wrong, if it, which I think they're wrong, I'm gonna be fucking making a blog about the shit, and then they're gonna be like, damn, ain't you? You know, I got some people that watch my shit. Josh sometimes watch my videos. Um, I think Crystal watch my videos. A lot of people from the pain watch my shit. A lot of people from the pain watch these videos. Like a lot. The chicks from from um 801 Broadway, all of them. I'm a people person. I cool with everybody. You know what I'm saying? People from from um, 20 from uh Three Park Avenue where um where uh Thomas uh, what the fuck is that school? Anyway, the school on 33rd Street. The high school. They fucking bust. So I'm not gonna make a blog about this shit and it be some false shit and then be like, yo, Angel, why you did a blog about that shit? That's no offense. Listen, that's why I said, if Josh watches this video, I was sending the video. If Josh from DoorDash watches this video, call me up so I can put, put you on. I, probably, probably other people put him on. Probably other people put you on by now. I just add it. I just, I just, I just make blogs and people watch my blogs. So somebody putting you on and, and me not mentioning it, I'm not gonna mention it. I would give y'all the respect. I work for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I work for myself, but I work for y'all. I would give you the respect of telling you what's going on. And if you say I don't have nothing to do with it, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Then I make a blog tomorrow. But that's just, that's not even right to, to talk shit about from niggas. And, I, and then I, I be telling y'all the same shit. You talk shit about the companies and all that shit. Oh, fuck them niggas. This, that, and third. But yet, you're working for them. That makes no sense. So I'm not going to talk shit and tell you what they... But they represented me. Said they having a loss against DoorDash. Because it's some shit, some shit, some shit. Ah, 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 ah. And... It's made for the drivers. For the dash. The, the, the drive orders. The dash the drive orders. It's some shit, it's a bunch of money, and it's, it's a uh, grand larceny, and this, that, and third, whatever. I mean, I was, I was, I was first of all, y'all know I take my shit serious when I do my job. When I do this door, that shit. So, first of all, brother was already 10 minutes late for the drop off shit. My man, you got too fast for that, my man. My man was talking, he talking Show me a paper, show me a paper. My man, I listen, no disrespect to you. I got your card. You know what I'm saying? I hit you up. Fine. I hit that up. Let's Josh tells me some shit. And let's Josh calls me and says, Yo, age, hey, yeah, I heard about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna blow y'all niggas the fuck up out the water and be like, Yo, y'all motherfuckers. But yo, fan, for, for, for doing that to do what these niggas is saying, that's. It takes a lot, bro. There's no way you can cover that up. 
talking about hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a day. They take it from our bread. That's impossible, bro. And that company I told you about a couple of days ago that it was impossible? Yeah, it was fucking impossible. I signed on for that shit. I did. I signed on for it. It's called, oh shit, J. J, J what the fuck is wrong with me, bro? Yo, that sound was crazy, fam. Them buy five for twenty dollar nicks over there on Thursday. Crazy. My brain is fried. JPEG? JPEG. JPEG? Anyway, sign up for this shit. And they call you for your, for your, for your, for your, to an issue of a visit. So you can come in and get your car, like DoorDash, get your card and your bag and all that shit. And I asked the first one, I said something before I do anything. I heard, you're paying $15 delivery plus delivery. And exactly what I fuck I told you. It's $15 an hour. Do it, I think, do, I believe. Do it, do the same thing. It's $15 in delivery. It is $15 in delivery. I mean, an hour. If you don't do no deliveries, and you sign in and you're at the location, the area you at, and you driving around and nothing happens, you get fifteen dollars out. But if you get a delivery, you get the delivery, man. I knew that shit. Get the fuck out of here. You gonna be fifteen dollars out? That niggas be fucking misrepresenting, man. I don't know if you're trying to put that word out there, so niggas. Could, I'm not a dumb 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 dumb. Let me get on it. Nah, man. No. I the same thing. Stay indoors. That's your booth mates. Fuck, I'm gonna do another app company and get you. Nah. Anyway, that's JPEG. Whatever that shit is called. Well, yeah. Niggas just playing a lawsuit. All right, whatever, fam. I don't Look, man. He, he's seen I was not interested at all. In I don't want to really get involved in that like that. If that's what they're doing, fam. I mean, y'all y'all sue them and get, get the bread. I want my bread. <laughs> He was like, oh, you feel, do you feel, I feel, oh, fam. I started bringing up, <laughs> I started bringing up my shit with my, yo, listen, man, I'm getting not paid when I'm supposed to get paid because of some, some check shit. Not what y'all niggas is talking, you know what I'm saying? You want to sue me for that? I call these niggas about my bro to talk some emails. I don't get nothing about, no response about my money. Sue them for that. Sue them for that. Don't sue them for some shit that, that shit sound false. I told y'all. I'm a smart dumb nigga. Shit they were saying, yeah, the dude, there was, yo, fam, the niggas was everywhere, fam. So I'm pretty sure these guys know what's going on, you know? And they probably tell us to stay away from them dudes, which I would. I, I, I stood away, I was putting him, yo, the dude was hearing this shit, and he's like, yo, that, the dude the, from the pain, he's helping me put, the, I had two bags to put, you know what I'm saying, my food in. He was like, yo, that's fucked up, that's true, that's fucked up, fam. I was like, yo, fam, not from that, that shit sound crazy. Ain't no way that shit is true. And he said, that's a big conspiracy. Get the fuck out of here. Nah. So he gave me the food and the, and the dude was something. He said I was interested. I was like, yo, fam, I'm not interested really. But <sighs> I took the car. <sighs> I think I, oh, no, I threw the car away. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. I needed a part for the car, which is right here for the van. And it was in a different place, so the guy I took the card to that that's the only thing I had in my pocket that was blank to the rope and wrote the address in the back of the other store, Malaya parts. I had to go get the parts, so yeah, I threw the card away. <laughs> I wasn't used to call it anyway. <laughs> some some dudes were representing some place and they was out there looking for drive drive dashes and shit. They was looking for people with their shirt on. And they had the shirt on, so that's basically it, fam. Yo listen man. What I think it is is not true. Josh, if you get this, this man, call me, man. Call me, because that shit don't... I, I know I get mad at y'all for bullshit, but this shit can't be true. Can't be true. And if it's true, and listen, listen I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this on video. If it's true, like I told the dude, because he was mentioning names. He mentioned names. So he must, they must know what they're talking about. About, I mean, about knowing about DoorDash. Or whoever is snitching, or not snitching, I'm going to say snitching, because that's Brad, so it's not about snitching, it's... Whoever's telling them the story is giving them names. So he mentioned names of support. This is what the problem I'm saying, Josh, to call me. He's mentioned names of support. Now, my man, 
you know, I left, I ain't, I ain't telling this, I'm telling y'all. My man, support is there to fucking, all they do is talk to you about what's going on, you need help in the delivery, they want to get the delivery done. So they have, they have to help us get the delivery done and get us a parking code and make sure that delivery gets done and marked off and they you know what I'm saying? They're not here to take, come on fam. Y'all bugging with that shit. Listen, I know it. I'm telling you right now. I know this shit's a lie. I'm saying on camera. I know this shit's a lie. That shit ain't going nowhere. They're not going to really lose. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. They just wasted their time. Baby, it's just... What they do? Why don't you do this? If any... Well, I thought somebody from that place is watching me, but... If the person that started this shit is watching this video, right? If y'all think that's true, instead of trying to sue somebody without... So make a petition up, make a whatever, you know, when you're going to sue somebody, before you do that, approach, they right there, 16th Street, listen, I want to speak to you, uh, we planning a lawsuit against you because of this, you have an answer for this, and once they blow your fucking theory out the fucking water, you ain't got to go through all that, you know what I'm saying, and put dashes, yeah, there's another thing, you putting us involved in shit that, like, look, I, I, maybe the person that got the conspiracy theory with you and, and all that shit. Maybe he, maybe yeah, maybe he wanna um be involved in that shit. But us dashers don't. I know when I went to um the other shit, I, I was talking to one of the other dudes, and I was like, yo, one of the you know, the bikers was do drive orders too. I was like, yo, you heard about that? She was like, yeah, that's fucked up. That's true. Same thing I said. <laughs> it's true. That's fucked up. And y'all niggas need to fry. But it's not your fam. It's first of all, my pay that I'm not getting paid for. That I, from the, I made a video about the things they paying me. I'm trying to get paid for that, by the way. My bank showed me everything. I got all the evidence. Then another thing, this past week, I went to Brooklyn twice. I didn't get the, you know, you get $10 for going out of borough. I didn't get that one $10. Not even half a $10. The niggas didn't give me none of that bread for going twice. Sent them emails, didn't get nothing. Didn't get a response. I sent up another email yesterday saying I didn't get a response from the other email. I still haven't heard of it. So, my bread that's that 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 I'm not getting support's not taking that bread. I made a whole video apologizing to Josh. Jo yeah, Josh. That weed is crazy. Apologizing to Josh because it wasn't the support. Support don't got to do, do, do with your bread. He can help me try to see what my bread is. That's when I realized it. That's why I made the sorry, the uh, sorry, the apology video. Because I realized afterwards, yo, he got nothing to do with that shit. That goes to whole that's DoorDash. The company, the corporation, the whole different thing, all where the money is involved in. Their support. That nothing to do with the bread. You know what I'm saying? So what the fuck out? Y'all trying to yo, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Support got nothing to do with the bread. So y'all y'all niggas talking about the wrong dudes. The wrong people. They always throw door that's in general, but they get the fuck out of here. They ain't trying to yo the fam. I went to another place. You know, that's when I got with him. I said, listen, I'm not with it. I'm not interested. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't think that that, that makes sense what you're saying. And I want to know, niggas. That don't make sense. I'm out. And I'm late for my my drop off. You know what I'm saying? Left. Had another pickup at the same place. If, if. Had a pickup at, after that, like at 2.30, whatever the time it was. I went down there again. The niggas were still out there. Niggas were still out there, fam. My pickup, yo, fam. My pickup was a, like, <coughs> 9.30, 11 o'clock, some shit like that. Came back at 2.30, 3 o'clock. Who's so sorry? That nigga's still there. I'm like, damn. So there was another dude that came up to me. He's like, yo, I said, yo, fam, I told the dude I'm not interested, whatever. And he was, he was more talking about the, oh, do I feel, do I feel sometimes if I do a catering order, you know what, I'm not going to say that because then I'm going to tell you what you're talking for. Like I say, I'm not going to, misrepresent DoorDash where I work I get my breath from I don't even do Postmates that much I do Postmates between so I may do the four DoorDash and then I go to the Bronx and I do some I go to fucking Westchester which is near me and I do some DoorDash over there so DoorDash is the main niggas I do I'm gonna disrespect my where I work you know what I'm saying if it's wrong now if it's right 
And I found out it's right. Tomorrow my video is going to be a whole totally different persona. It's going to be a totally, 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 totally different big age. It's going to be totally different big age. It's going to be fuck them niggas. Them niggas should die. Fry. I'm going to give you niggas the address. We should wait in front. Physically fuck them niggas up when they come. All that. It's going to be different. Like I said, I don't believe it's not true. And support has nothing to do with the money. Why are you blaming support? The fuck is wrong with the fan? I think I, I know the nigga that's. I know. Another thing. I'll make another video tomorrow. I'm apologize. I got to apologize to Josh McMahon. If if I know the dude that's doing it. I know the dude that's 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 putting that started all this shit. I know him physically because he told me whatever, and I said, yeah, I know him. And maybe something happened with him. Or maybe the manager nigga approached him and had a conversation with him. Nobody approached us. Nigga, you know, it's a party. Yo, fam, it's probably 200 dashes, bro. Or 150, whatever. Fucking doing drop orders, nigga. One dude told you something. And you fucking. I just think y'all niggas, that law firm or whatever that shit is, they just have nothing to do. And they said, fuck it. You know, let's try to make a case and make a name for ourselves. This ain't gonna be it, fam. This ain't gonna be it. That, that niggas is wrong. You, fam, and I know, nigga. I see you. I knew you before the dude I'm talking about. I knew you before Dog Dash, nigga. You know, softball life, nigga. We always out there, bro. Come on, man. If you gonna do that shit, man, have some facts. Just call some people and think, oh, you had a cousin that worked or whatever the fucking reason, bro. It's a fact, bro. I talked to other niggas after that. Second dude, I went to the, and they was on my side. Like, nah, that, that's that's not. And they said the same thing. If anything, it's corporate DoorDash that ship they should be fucking with. If that's if that is true, which me and the dude, the dude, the biker dude, I told you, we both were saying the same shit. Yo, fam, that shit don't. That, that, nah, nah, that's a big, big conspiracy. That's that's crazy. I saw some shit on face on um, on my Facebook yesterday that uh they caught Jay Z shape shifted on a plane. My nigga, I, that's the same theory. That's that's the same thing that sounded just now when I saw the video. Jay Z shape shifting in, in in a plane and the witnesses statements and shit and they were showing the people the witnesses. Saying that he was shape shifting, whatever. Same way I heard that's the same way I think about this door that's lawsuit shit that they talk about. So I'ma end this shit because I ain't gonna get this thing no more of my time. Only made this video because that shit's crazy. And Josh, if you see this shit, please call me. Because I'm on y'all niggas side. Sorry. And if I'm wrong, the dude, I'll mention the dude's name. That started this, and I'd be like, yo, big up to you, ah, for bringing the light, ah, ah, ah. But, yo, tomorrow, we make a video about you stupid bitch ass nigga. I'm a, I ain't gonna front, fam. It got nothing to do, this has nothing to do with me. All of this. But you a clown for doing what you're doing, fam. You a clown. You making it harder for Fam, it's already hard for us to get drive orders. So you gonna fuck with support? Stupid motherfucker. Yo, fam, let me tell you something. At 3 o'clock, at 3 o'clock now, they got this thing where 3 o'clock, you can see the drive orders before. At 2.59, I pulled over because it's like a fucking, it's like a, a, a auction, bro. At 2.59, I pulled over. Went to schedule. Went on the fucking thing. As soon as she said, boop, 31 deliveries. All you saw is 40 out. I clicked on everything. Yo, fam. It went, ding. I clicked on it. That shit said delivery already, delivery already assigned. The next one, delivery already assigned. Delivery sign, and then whatever's left over is what you get, and because it's so much in a block, you know what I'm saying? Like it's so much in a time frame block, like from seven to nine. It's like it's like ten dollars in that same time. You can only get one because you can't get another. One. So you can only get what's left over. So all them forty dollars just are clicking, clicking, clicking. It's already fucking awesome. You can only get three, four deliveries. The most you can do is three because everything's in a block of time. So that could be thirty deliveries, but ten is gonna be from seven to nine. In that time frame, another, the rest, another 10 is going to be, 10 is going to be in that frame, 10 is going to be in 11 to something, or 10 to something, 
and the other, you get might get two or three, two o'clock, to five o'clock, to four o'clock. My man, it's already fucking hard. You know what I'm saying? And you making it fucking harder for you know doing this bullshit. You think some person don't fucking want to help you after you do some sucker shit like this, bro? Listen, man. Ainge got Big Ainge. Big Ainge. Make sure you see the ring. Big Ainge from Spanish Harlem, mailbox that raised him, has nothing to do with this. I'm on DoorDash's side. This shit got nothing to do. This shit is bullshit. I don't even know. I wish the dudes wanted to approach me yesterday. But they did. And, um, I don't know. And the other dudes, you know what? Not for nothing. I'm the, I'm probably not. Nah, because you know what? I did hear something. Hold on, hold on. I did hear my other man say, yo, I'm not going to talk about this shit at all. But I, they probably going to. One of the other dudes was like, yo, I'm a call because I want to make sure. All right, I understand. I respect it. But you, you know, do you, fam? So probably nobody's going to remember. Uh, if they talk about, nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't know about that. Nobody approached me. You know, if they ask. Because they probably think that that is true. And they got to get some bread at the end of the rainbow. You know? And, nigga, earn your bread. Don't fucking look for free handouts. I'm not one of them dudes. So, probably if they approach you, yo, did you hear about this? You know? Nah. I didn't hear about that. No, nobody approached me. Nigga, they approached everybody yesterday. I physically saw them approach everybody. I'm blowing you niggas up if you're front. Nah, nah, I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, y'all heard something. Y'all just don't want to say nothing. I'm the one on the video, on my fucking blog, saying that it happened. And if y'all niggas got a problem with that, fam, y'all know I pick up from the pain all day. I pick up from fucking Italy. Nigga, I'm on. I'm, nigga, call me out, nigga. I'm on 133rd all day, every day when the mailbox that raised me, fam. Y'all got a problem with it, man. I'm still street ain't so see me. I got a problem from me blowing shit up. Or me, you know what I'm saying? That is wrong. See me. I don't have a problem. See me, fam. I love the violence. I grew up on violence. So, you don't want to take it to that level. Y'all, because y'all doing some sucker shit to DoorDash. Y'all doing some sucker shit to DoorDash. But I bet you, I bet you this. I bet you you up right now going to do a pickup. I bet that. What y'all talking shit? Get the fuck out of here. Shit they saying if, if it's true, it's, I got, my thing is this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end this video like this, man. This is my thing. If it's true, it not, my shit ain't gonna do support. You're going to the wrong people. If it's true, which I thought is true, like I said, for the 18th time. Oh, look at this shit. I gotta get out of here. I thought it's true. I'm taking for that. I thought it's fucking true. I doubt it, doubt it, doubt it. So. Nah, y'all niggas is bugging out. So on that note, um, y'all ship me up, please give me a call, cause I'm gonna forget the end of the day, cause I'm not even gonna get this another thought. I've thought about it for all this 20 minutes, whatever this video's been. I'm not thinking about this shit again. I'm not one of them dudes. I don't think about nothing the next day. It's, it's over. It's over for me. So I'm gonna probably forget about this shit. You know, after I do my drop off now, I'm about to go hunt third. I ain't got nothing, so I'm about to cop five of them things. Go to my man crib, you know, give me some smashies. So I'm gonna definitely forget about this shit, but if you see this video, I'm gonna send you this video personally, Josh. I know you're gonna watch the whole fucking 30 minutes. But just know that um I need you to call me. And I know you're busy all day, so call me whenever you want. I'll remember when you talk about it. Alright, later, peace. Yo, shout out to the mailbox that raised me. Shout out to the wife. Peace.